In today's SoCal Spotlight, we are going to Orange County and the city of Fullerton. Fullerton's beginnings can be traced back to 1887 when it was a major hub for agriculture and transportation. And now it's a vibrant place with so many unique shops and cafes. KCAL News reporter Tina Patel is there. And have we started indulging in the crepes yet? <laughs> No, I'm actually being very good because I didn't want you to come and have me just have whipped cream all over my <laughs> face. You know, with the SoCal Spotlight, we're always looking to uncover those hidden gems, and I think we found one here at Frey's. This is tucked away in a little shopping center just down the street from Cal State Fullerton. And Frey, you can go ahead and put chocolate on this because I actually ordered myself a little breakfast here. Jeanne is the owner. You and your husband grew up in Europe, and you said crepes were like just something everybody grew up with there, right? Yes. I, is, that, is that why you wanted to open your own here in Fullerton? Yes, we want something to bring something new to the, our uh, people in Fullerton and in SoCal. I want to show some of the ones that you've been making this morning. I think what is wonderful about crepes is that they can be designed for anything, sweet or savory, all different kinds of toppings. Jana really prides herself on having fresh ingredients. I have to say that they were about to open right when the pandemic hit. So those first year was very tough. They didn't know if they were going to be able to do it. They're finally getting to the point where people are starting to know that they're here. They're coming and they're trying out these treats. They're getting really great reviews. Jana, I, I, I've been watching you do this and you said you have a lot of practice. Can anybody make a crepe? Because I really want to try. I've always watched this. So you have homemade batter here. You said like homemade batter ingredients. That's kind of the secret to making it good, right? Yes. Is this a good amount for me to have? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now what's, what's the secret here? Just put it in the middle and spread it uh, evenly around the crepe maker. And I don't do anything with the ladle, right? No. That's, is that, it sort of feels like that's not enough. Yeah, that's but good enough. Okay. Because the thinner is crepe, is better it is. Now, this is the part that makes me nervous, this little tool here. Like, already not perfect. How, how do you get it so it looks all perfect oh, and wonderful? Oh, doing very well. You think? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it looks very, no, see, this risk. <laughs> Can you save that, or is that, that's just going to be very, it's just going to not be a pretty, maybe we just cover it with strawberries and no one will know? Yeah, absolutely. Or can you yeah. save that? Yeah. Oh. It's going to be a little bit smaller than usually because we usually make them bigger. <laughs> but it didn't go quite yeah, over the edge. I was really yeah. trying to go over yeah. the edge. You know, it's very good for the first time trying it. She's being very kind. I say that the greatest thing is just that you can put anything on it. You actually were telling me sometimes people can make their own. But what do you recommend if somebody's never come here before and really had a crepe? Uh, the, usually people like the sweet crepes. Uh, but we recommend our, you know, like... Signature crepes that uh, Mediterranean crepe and uh, Norwegian crepe, and also we make the like uh, re regular like ham and cheese crepe. And you were telling me, I don't know if you were lying to me or not. You said, yeah. I'm going to try this, which is kind of like a crepe that's cut up, yeah. sort of like fettuccine. You were saying that chocolate is really not that bad for you, right? Especially no, if it's, it's super good for you. If you want to start your day good, eat the chocolate. <laughs> All right, well, let's look at this. I feel like this is the easiest to eat. And I don't know if you guys noticed that I had this fork just tucked away in my back pocket because I am always ready if somebody needs me to eat something to do that. So uh, cheers to you and Frey's Cafe. The next time you're in Fullerton, try it out. Uh, we didn't just notice it. Amy, our director, uh, also <laughs> let us know in case we didn't notice it because that was, it a, was smooth a smooth move. move. Yes. <laughs> Nice and work. actually, I think <laughs> your crepe was... <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. I took too much again in my mouth, so I can't talk now. Oh, my goodness. Really well, I think your crepe was actually pretty impressive. I, I thought it was good. Yes, I did, too. You can definitely salvage that. It was fun to see how it was made. Yes. Thank you, I Tina. mean, you can put chocolate on that, and it'll be perfect. Exactly. Agreed. Agreed. Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy your crepes. We won't make you talk with your mouth full anymore. We'll go to Alex. Two can